I think the first question that needs to be asked is how did that dunk feel? Uh, it felt good. I have been telling people, I, was, like, I told all my teammates, I think, last week that I was going to East Bay in game, and today I finally got a chance to do it. Our next question will go to Steve Lansdale. When you have a game like tonight, or the first two actually, where the where it gets pretty lopsided, how hard is it to evaluate your own performance or your team's performance? It gets lopsided. Yeah, when you weren't really tested by like halftime. Um, I think we can still say we played our. That's a word I've never been asked that before. That's a great team. Uh, we just were a better team. So, I mean, I think we did well defensively and offensively. We shared the ball. So, yeah, for that, I, I've never been asked something like that before. Next question to Sam Blum. Hey, Ferran. Um, I kind of going off that a little bit. Just kind of how, how would you assess this offense? I know a lot of teams, you know, are, are coming in maybe a little rusty, especially with the way this whole year has gone. Do you guys feel like you're a step ahead maybe? Or, I mean, it's, it's tough to evaluate against teams like this, but, you know, how would you kind of assess? I think we're heading in the right direction. Um, we got Darius back today. You know, it's been a year and six months since he played. So that was a great uh, addition to the team. And uh, I think we're going to be good going forward. I'm really proud of the team and the way we came out today. Next question is to Damon Sales. Yeah, I want to go a little bit more in depth on Darius. Um, you know, him, having him back, uh, it, it adds a little bit more fire to the offense and the defense as well. Uh, just kind of go more in detail on just having him on the floor. Uh, having him is going to be great for us. You know, he spaces the floor really well. He can shoot the ball. He can also get to the basket today. You know, it's his first game in a year and six months, you know, take that into consideration, you know, even though he didn't have like a pretty large stat line, but it was good for him to just, you know, get back out there and play with us in a real game. So I was really proud of him and the way he came out and uh, he kept his head through it all. So that was just a big sign of maturity. You know, some people may pop when they don't have a good game and he didn't do that at all. He was just more happy that we got the victory. And the next question to uh, Steve Lansdale. Only two games in, obviously, but you've gotten some production out of Charles Smith and Will Douglas. How much does that change what you guys can be if you can get a consistent input from those two guys? Well, when those two guys are playing the way that they're playing, it's kind of hard for Chris Jenk to take them out of the game. Uh, Will had three charges tonight. Uh, you know, he was putting his body down putting his body on the line for his teammates. And that's just another sign of maturity. Charles, you know, last year he was a freshman, so it's hard coming in freshman year. But I think sophomore year, he's kind of uh, picked it up a notch. And Charles is pretty good when he's hot. I mean, as you can see, he shoots it faster than anybody in the country, in my opinion. And it looks pretty good. So I was really proud of Charles and Will. And I think they're going to be consistent for us uh, this year. All right, next question, back to Sam Blum. Ron, just kind of a separate uh, story I'm working on. I'm curious, you guys are wearing these new patches on your jerseys. What are your What are your thoughts on that? And uh, just you know, what kind of what it's all about? Uh, I like the patch. Uh, it's a sign of unity and just you know, still bringing awareness to the problems that we have going on in this country. You know, I, it takes all of us to end it. So, I really like the patch, and it was a uh, it was a great idea. All right, and last one is Sam. Sam, you have another question? No, I'm good. Sorry, I just didn't lower my hand. Okay. Ferran, thank you. Uh, it's good. A guy who can knock down shots, he can create for others, and at the same time, he's a he's a really great defender. On the ball, he'll do a lot of things. He'll, de he'll get deflections, steals, and he can guard the ball. So, I mean, both sides, just a great addition for us, and I'm pretty sure he'll We'll keep like hearing from him for during the season. He'll have some good games. I'm pretty sure about it. Next question, Sam Blum. Hey, Manuel. Uh, I know obviously last year you probably didn't have that shooting percentage that you wanted to. I'm curious. You know, just it looks good tonight. I'm curious. Do you feel like you're a better shooter now? That you're gonna, you know, you you kind of made that improvement over the off season. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I mean, last year was kind of like. I was getting adapted to the game a little bit more. So I think this year, I, this summer, I've really been working on it. I'll say working on that a lot. 
and I think that you know it's coming. So I'm just I'm just keeping myself in the gym, shooting every time, shooting it with confidence. And I know my my teammates gonna find me, so I just gotta knock knock it down. Next question, Steve Lansdale. Uh, following up on Damon's question about Darius, he had to wait a year and a half, and then he sat out the opener. What was he like just in the last few days leading up to tonight in terms of his energy, his excitement, his nerves? I mean, you know, it's, it was the first game back, so he was like, he was trying to keep his composure because, he, you know, Darius is working all the time. He's focused. Nothing changed, even though it's like, it, even though he wasn't playing last year, he was really focused and he was really working on his game. So it was nothing different, but I, I knew he was really looking to his game, though. So I'm really, I'm really, it's like, a, it's crazy for him. So I'm really happy for him, too. All right, next question back to Damon Sales. You guys had five players in double figures. What does that say just about mm -hmm. this team? I know we're two games in, got a lot of time left, but. Uh, what does it say about this team and, and, and the potential firepower? We got weapons. We got firepower. Everybody can go on any given day. It's it's not just one player who can go, like, it's really the whole team. And we sharing the ball this year better than we were doing it last year, too. And I think we're still build, like, building up on it. But, like, as you can see, we're moving that ball. I don't know how many assists we got tonight. Maybe in, like, maybe in the 20s. But it just, you know, we sharing the ball. Everybody can go, and that's it. All right, and up next, Sam Blum. Just more specifically on that, and, and what K, how KD has looked in the first couple of games. I mean, you know, it's just, it seems like the offense is, uh, you know, just it just runs really smoothly. You know, it's like I said, it's been kind of like a weird year for everybody, uh, getting prepared for a season. But it seems like when you have a guy like him out there, it makes it a little easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, because he be drawing so much attention, and at the same time, he's just—he's also a threat. He can't score the ball, as you, as you saw last uh, last game. He had like 33 uh, his career high, so he can go. He he's drawing so much attention. He gonna he gonna find his teammates. He'll get the ball where it's supposed to be, and at the same time, he's a good lead, a good leader. So yeah, we rely on him a lot. Up next, Steve Lansdale. You guys won your opener by 30, and you won tonight by, what is it, 37? Mm -hmm. uh, how hard is it to get an accurate picture of, of what this team is through two games when the games get that lopsided? I mean, we're doing a lot of things. We, you know, we're trying to get better every day. And at the same time, we know that even though we blow, we're blowing up teams by 30 or 40, it doesn't really matter. We got to, you know, be perfect and disciplined. So it doesn't really matter. But it's not about the score, really. It's about, like, how we play. And film don't lie. So if, you, if you've been lacking on defense, you've been lacking on going to rebounds, coach going to tell you about it, and you're gonna, we're going to fix that practice. So I think it's really, like, we're really looking at it at, you know, let's get better because the real season will – the real games will come, and, you know, we got to be ready for them. All right, our first question will be Steve Lansdale. Tim, you said after the opener you wanted to see a significant improvement on the defensive end. And tonight you held Corpus to 31% shooting. Will Douglas took a few charges. Uh, you had, I think it was five block shots. Was the defense uh, improved enough in your eyes? Did you see that improvement that you wanted? Uh, you know, I, the truth be told, uh, for me, I have to watch film before I really know that. I thought there were a lot of good things going on, certainly. And you mentioned Will. I mean, a guy taking three charges is, is fantastic. Ethan getting 11 rebounds is fantastic. Uh, Kendrick, 11 assists. You know, those are just, those are just, those are just great. Um, but defensively, honestly, I, I you know, I thought I saw a number of breakdowns um, and, you know, we're, we're uh, a better team. They're very well coached. Willis is a great coach. He's done, but you know, we, we have this team outmanned and this is just kind of our starting point. So it's a little bit difficult, but all we can do is study film and look if we did the right thing at the right time. Defense is, is easier to grade. 
you know, here's the ball, here's your man, where are you? Did you do the right thing? Here's a screen, did we handle it the right way? There's a drive, did we handle it the right way? It's very easy to grade defense. And so when we get to the film, we'll, we'll have a good sense for that. All right, next question, Damon Sales. All right, Coach, we've been waiting for Darius McNeil for uh, over a year now. We get a chance to see him, and he uh, – I don't know if you recognize, but it was 6-5 you were trailing when he when he entered, and the team went on a 12-0 run. So, um, you know, obviously he's, he's helping to do something here. But just overall, just assess his performance, and, uh, you know, I know he's got plenty of plenty of time to get better, but uh, what, what were your thoughts of, of how he played? Well – he had, you know, he, I, I was in his shoes once upon a time. I transferred to another school and sat out a whole year. And I remember it's, you know, it's very difficult after you haven't played for that long. And not only that, he's playing after that long and he's playing in a different environment than he's ever faced because of COVID. So, but I thought he did very well. I'm sure he probably doesn't think he did that well, but I, I thought he did. And I'm glad that we got him back. He's, you know, been injured. Um, and he's going to be an important part, just as, as everybody. We, you know, we need everybody, maybe this year more than ever. But I thought he, I thought he did very well, and uh, I think he can really be an outstanding contributor for us. All right, next question, Sam Blum. Um, you mentioned Ethan there and his rebounds. I'm, I mean, is, I'm curious, is, is this the player that you kind of want, that you maybe saw in his first two seasons that you kind of want to see again? I know it's not against, you know, yeah, the conference or whatever, but he looked pretty good, I thought. Yeah, he's he's played really, really well in both games. I think he had six assists in the other game, our first game. But, you know, for a coach, it's – it's uh, players don't even know this, but they have a look about them, you know. Every player has a look about them, a body language, uh, an intensity or lack thereof. And uh, Ethan, this season has, has come – I'm really proud of him. He's come with the – really good mindset and he's such a talented player he's so versatile he can do so many things and and uh i'm proud of him and and he's and he's really doing well he's proven that he can produce against high level competition um i want to say his freshman yeah his freshman year we played uh in the bahamas we played arizona i think they were number two at the time and he's a freshman it's early in the season and he he was fantastic, you know, like, and, and I won't forget that. I don't forget a lot of the big games early on that he played awfully well. And you can't luck into that. He's capable. So, but his mindset's great. And uh, I'm looking for a big year from him. Uh, back to Steve Lansdale. Yeah, to follow up on Damon's question about Darius McNeil, ever since he transferred, you've talked about his competitiveness and his eagerness to get on the floor. Um, did you and your staff have to do anything to sort of rein in his emotions or his eagerness tonight? No, uh, maybe, maybe we should have, but we, but we didn't, um, you know, just kind of let guys prepare in their own way. Um, but we didn't really talk about it much. Sometimes I like to just kind of leave some of that stuff alone. Maybe I shouldn't, but no, we didn't. We just, uh, you know, I know he's going to compete and, and uh, he's going to get he's going to get comfortable back being on the court in uh, in real games, and I know he's excited that the season finally started for him. Next, Damon Sales. Coach, how dangerous can this team be if Charles Smith continues to shoot the way that he's shooting? Huh. He's a great shooter, and he. How about his stroke? You know, how many guys? Not only. We've been saying this really since he got here. I mean, you talk about excited about a guy. Uh, his stroke is high level, as you can see, not just because they go in, but his release is fantastic. He's got one of the quickest releases. I mean, you, you know, you, not many guys have that. He's such a weapon, and he's really grown. You know, he's, he's, he's always been a high IQ player. He's got a lot of feel. He's skilled. But he was young last year. He was young and he was thin and he was trying to figure it out. Uh, the toughness side of things, you know, it's hard for freshmen. But, you know, he's come a long way and he is a big, big weapon for us. And as, as I said, he's a guy that can get – he can clip off a couple shots in no time flat. And you think you're guarding him, but you, but you may not be quite close enough. 
Back to you, Sam Blum. Hey, uh, Tim. Uh, you know, I'm c just curious. I mean, you know, both kind of as a as a person and you know as a reporter here, but uh, you know, is, is Tyson okay? I mean, he, he seemed to kind of have uh, you know tweeting a lot. Obviously, when we, we talked about it, and he indicated he might not be with SMU anymore. I mean, is there anything else you could say about what he's kind of going through and if he's going to come back? Yeah, this is a, that's a tricky for me because on one hand, I, I always want to be very open and honest and forthright with you guys always and transparent. I've always tried to do that. On the other hand, you know, I have the obligation in my mind to, you know, to protect our players. Um, and basically, you know, nothing that's transpired in the last day or so that I know you're aware of, that's really actually not new. Um, and as I've said, you know, he's out for personal reasons, which is kind of my way of trying to protect him. Um, but this has been going on and, uh, certainly we are, uh, you know, all our feelings are with him and I don't, know how this will all uh play out but i know that you know we are just awfully hopeful uh for him so i would like to get deeper into it but i think you can maybe start to see what i mean by you know some some personal issues that he's going through up next uh billy embody hey tim the uh Competition in the front court, you know, Ethan Shagwa had a really nice game tonight uh, with a double-double, uh, but Jamar Young also saw a lot more time uh, with Everett, you know, not seeing the floor, I guess. Uh, what can you say about that front court and kind of where they could go as they get a chance to develop? Well, you know, I, I, you, hope, you hope you have depth everywhere all the time. And this is, you know, we've gone so many years with, without having any depth, of course, because of probation and injury. So it's so refreshing to actually, even though we don't have the depth maybe that we, we thought we would have, of course, you know, with Tyson and your has not had a, uh, the waiver is not decided yet, nor is he healthy yet. So, so we even had a whole other, you know, idea for, for depth and, and talent. Um, things change and certainly they're going to change this year in COVID, but, you know, I, I think we have a number of guys that, that really can contribute. Um, you know, Isaiah is our starter. Isaiah does a lot of really good things. He anchors our defense in a lot of ways. Um, Ethan is a versatile. He can play the four, the five. Ferran can play the four, the three. Um, Jamar, you know, Everett was out tonight, but but Jamar has given us good minutes. You know, he's rebounding the ball at a really good clip, and he's such an athlete. I love him when he's blocking shots, and so. You know, hopefully by committee we can uh, we can have a strong front court. Certainly, moving forward, you know, um, one of the unfortunate things is you know we had our, we had so much of our preseason wiped out, um, you know, and and I'm concerned. I look around and you know I see where uh, Vanderbilt, Dayton, Dayton had a game canceled. Vanderbilt is paused. We got wiped out of UNLV and Georgia and Arizona State. And, you know, I, I'm just really hopeful that we can play all the games that are on our schedule. I, we need those and more. Um, we, we're still honestly trying to get more games. <laughs> if you can believe that, season starts never, ever have, has this happened. But we're still trying to get more games because you kind of need them before you, you know, start conference and as many – tough games, as many really competitive games as you can, but we'll see how that plays out. But but it is concerning as I look across the country and I also see in like a lot of the football cancellations and all that. So I'm really crossing my fingers. That at least we get the ones that are on the schedule that didn't get wiped off. Back to Steve Lansdale. Yeah, along those lines, do you have more of an update on Everett Ray or if your gets his waiver, how far away he would be medically from being able to rejoin you? Uh, so you're asking both both those guys? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Everett's probably not out very long, I wouldn't think. I would say I call it day-to-day, -day, probably. Um, your uh, health-wise, um, I would say week-to-week -week on that one. Certainly not day-to-day, -day, but – 
but week to week. Um, but of course, in order for that to matter, you know, we're going to need a positive uh, answer um, for the waiver. Next question, back to Sam Blum. Just real quick, Tim, um, you mentioned you're trying to add games. Are you looking in that window, um, uh, I guess, the 16th through the 30th? You guys, have, I know it's after the conference season starts, but you have those two weeks there. Is that, is that when you're looking? Yes, that's when we lost the Vegas game. I think we were going to play on the 22nd. Um, I think I think we're playing a league game on the 16th now. My, is that right? And then and then another league game. So we're trying to get games during that period. I think finals are over the – actually, the finals <laughs> finals are over the 16th and we play on the 16th, which is really bad timing. But we're going to play it. And then uh, we did have Vegas on the 22nd. That one's off. So that is the window right there, right before Christmas, that we're trying to find someone. <laughs> 